Hello guys, welcome to Loxio Tech YouTube channel. Today this video shows how to update Samsung NVMe SSD firmware for using an Apple MacBook Pro laptops. First you need to download Samsung latest firmware from Samsung Semiconductor website. The web link is already given in the description box. You can check there and download from there. Or search Samsung Magician and SSD tools in Google to find the link from semiconductor.samsung.com. Open the link and scroll down to firmware section. Open Samsung SSD firmware and find the exact file for your SSD. Here I used NVMe SSD 970 EVO Plus model. It's a 26 MB ISO file. Download the file. After completing the download process, we need to create a bootable firmware USB drive for updating the firmware. For creating bootable firmware drive, we need to download Bailna Etcher software. Search Bailna Etcher in Google and open the link. Scroll down to get the download section. Download the Etcher for Mac OS. Download and install. You need a pen drive of at least 2 GB space for creating firmware drive. Plug the USB pen drive and open Disk Utility from Spotlight search icon. Click the pen drive icon under External Drive sections and erase it by selecting the file format as Mac OS Extended Journal. Then open Bailna Etcher. Then select the option Flash from Drive, because we already have firmware ISO file. Select the downloaded Samsung firmware ISO file and click Open. If you want to change the file, click the Remove icon and re-upload the file again. Then select the target file. Click Select Target, and select the target media as pen drive here it's a SanDisk Cruiser Blade. Select it, click the Change icon to change the target media if you want. After selecting the right USB disk, then click Flash button to start the process. Prompt for password. Enter your admin password and click OK to continue. Flashing process started. Wait a minute to complete the process. After completing the process, there is a message prompt that says, Disk you attached was not readable by this computer. This is because the firmware update files are not readable by Mac OS. It is only work with booting method. Click ignore and restart the system. While restarting hold the option key until the startup selecting menu appears. Select the EFI boot drive and hit enter. It will load the firmware updates files. Please wait to finish the process. Press any key to continue. It automatically detects your Samsung SSD. Again press any key to continue the setup process. Then you got a message that firmware is already updated on this SSD. Hope you like this video. Please comment, like and share with your friends. Also please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. See you in the next video.